Okay, um, this particular piece is actually a, a styrofoam and toothpick. Uh, these are uh, recycled materials. And originally this was made for my son's project. And I was halfway to this uh, piece and my son thought that his teacher would not believe him that he made it. So I thought, uh, I got to do something about it. So I finished it all and put a lamp inside and, and the finished product became a, a green lamp. This other piece here, um, it is a cut, uh, a wood cut uh, to portray a, a falling water. And um, it's like from a glacier that, that a, a chunk of it got put on, a, on the display. So that's what I was trying to portray. It's kind of like a, uh, a frozen water. So that's, uh, that's the name of that piece. These two pieces right here, um, these are actually left over from, from my uh, bathroom when I, when I did my bathroom. This one right here, both of these. Uh, they are marble uh, materials left over from my bathroom when I created it. And um, I just didn't want to throw them away and I thought I'd put it together to form into an art. And both of these actually was displayed in uh, Dallas-Fort Worth uh, Airport. And this particular won an award for um, uh, best uh, media. And um, that's the story of that one. The one up there is a crutches uh, that I have way back then when I got hurt. And I just put it into an art and I call that the Wounded Chief. So um, it became a display. Now this piece right here, this is a, a leftover from a, a wood shop in Garland. And they throw a lot of this um, wood pieces. So I thought I can do something about it and um, form it into a, a, a random type of art. And um, it became into, into this image here. This particular piece here is, uh, is my old bike, mountain bike, which I have for a long, long time. And it um, started falling apart. And uh, I actually put it aside, uh, about to be thrown away. And um, I thought I can do something about it and made it into an art. And, and um, it, it became an art. That particular piece is a, a combination of um, my old mantle and a window um, balance that uh, I kept for a while also and um, formed it into an art and uh, made it into a sculpture out of it. This piece is also um, uh, leftover pieces from uh, uh, a wood shop which they throw away and um, just put it all together and uh, compose uh, an interesting piece of uh, sculpture. This particular piece is um, composed with um, throwaway headboards. Uh, as you can see, there's headboards and chairs and and um, washer dryer parts pull all together to to create an, a sculpture like this. And um, This is an organic uh, contemporary sculpture, which I found from uh, camping. And I kept it for like uh, 10 years. I left it outside. And uh, when, the, when the skin fell off, I, I turned it into this. And I made it into an art. Now this piece, uh, I was inspired by um, Kandinsky and Picasso on their um, uh, colors. And um, I found this piece actually from uh, when Mervyn's closed. And this, this plexiglass is um, a display for Mervyn's and uh, they were selling it for a dollar a piece. So I took advantage of it and my wife thought it was uh, junk and I turned it into an, an art. So that's the story. <laughs> okay, that piece is my first one. When I created that, it's um, there's three chairs there all together, 
Um, they're all falling apart when I have it, and I thought to put it all together and made it into an art would be interesting, and uh, and that's what it became. Plus, I needed I needed uh, I needed uh, a piece there in the fireplace, and um, that's what it is. Well, this display I I bought from Irvin's also when they closed, and then this piece. It's kind of like my experiment on the standalone sculpture. I was just trying to study the form, and um, since I got a lot of these pieces, wooden pieces material, and put it all together and um, just uh, composed a standalone sculpture. Um, you know, the streets and look at all the objects that people throw away. I consider it junk. Uh -huh. Because I couldn't see the beauty in it, but my husband, Eric, when he looks at an object, he sees beauty in it and can transform it. So every time he picks up something, I always give him a hard time. I like, oh, you're bringing junk again to the garage, you know. But since then, in a week or so, when he makes it into a, well, an object, it becomes an art form. And it's really amazing how he can transform objects that people throw away. But now, if you see it in display, it's really awesome. It's a different uh, perspective. Thanks, that's all.